was I thinking? Strange items, poor choices, bloopers, and other nonsense. Grab a drink and get ready to laugh at my 2021 thrifting fails. It has been an incredible year for thrifting here on this channel. I can't tell you how much it means to me that I get to do what I do. People who were strangers have given me so much of their time and attention and that I get to use that as a platform to talk about and encourage people to shop secondhand, which is really important to me. So there are aspects of this that I take very seriously. But if you've been here long enough, you know that taking myself seriously is not one of those things. I'm so thankful that you all have been here for it through the good and the bad. And that's what today's video is most about. So feel free to grab a drink of choice. Feel free to laugh at my expense as we take a look back at the thrifting fails of 2021. Fail, 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 fail. Watch me fail. Yeah. First up, I want to talk about the items I most regret leaving behind. Despite all my amazing finds this year, believe it or not, there are still some items that really haunt me. First to mind, there were a couple of amazing codes that I left behind. Let's take a look back. This is a really nice, well-made coat made in the USA. It's in great condition, 10 bucks. The houndstooth is so cool, but ah, uh, should I get a coat? Okay, I just want this, so I need to figure out how to like shoehorn it into a costume or something, or I'll just get it. <laughs> Oh my god, that's like a spy anyway. I know! <laughs> and then there was that other time, this designer luxury brand estate sale where everything was $20 or less. I have goosebumps all over my body just thinking about it. Roll the clip. I made it to the final room and it's the biggest and most packed of all. At this point, hopefully you can tell that I am not overstating the size and quality of this collection. There were so many incredible pieces that it's hard to re-watch the footage as I'm editing and not feel like I missed out on some great items. But with the upcoming haul, you'll see I took quite a bit home. And I think my only regret might be passing up this Karl Lagerfeld because I was so desensitized to how incredible this piece is. Um, yeah. And then there was this incident. Sorry. It's okay, I'm taking a video. <laughs> I just wanted to, sorry, I'm so awkward. <laughs> Like the thrifting regret can be so real and it can be even worse if you are someone who films and documents everything. <laughs> because every time I go back to edit a video, I tend to see more things that I'm not quite sure what I was thinking and why I passed them up. <sighs> I think this is just absolutely exquisite. And you're gonna think this is funny, I think it's funny, but the item that most haunts me from this past year. I have found designer pieces here. I have found obviously so much vintage, but the thing I think about all the time, like one of my biggest thrifting regrets was seeing this little a uh, yellow t-shirt with like a silk screen of somebody's pet on it that was like a little Pekingese dog. <laughs> I think about that shirt every time I come in here and think I, why didn't I thrift that? Isn't that funny? That's, that's the item that haunts me from this store. <laughs> 
I guess we shouldn't be surprised that it's a t-shirt. You know what a fanatic I am for a great vintage t-shirt, but I think about that one regularly. On the flip side of this, we can talk about my buyer's remorse from the past year. This one is really funny to me because when I was in the thrift store, I debated it so much. Why do I like this so much? I just think it's so cute and it's a great size for me, but I also feel like I don't need it, but I don't have any like pastel bags. So yeah, I'm indecisive today. <laughs> And then when I brought it home, I used it in a styling where I was like really defending it, the purchase, and was like, no, you guys, this is cool. I'm gonna make this work. Let us remember. And guess what? I am gonna pair it with this bag, this leather patchwork bag that I recently thrifted. When it showed up in my video, it was really divisive. Like people <laughs> either loved or hated this bag and were like, oh, why'd you get it? Or they were like, yes, I see what you did there. Anyway, do you see now? Do you see? So anyway, this is like definitely the type of fit that I would use this bag with. <laughs> Sorry if you hate it. It's like, stop trying to make this bag happen. <laughs> I also more recently picked up another bag that I thought was so cool in the moment. And now when I look at it, it is kind of one of those things that I'm just like, what was I thinking? It is kind of an ugly cool piece. You guys know what I'm talking about ugly cool. There was a pair of shoes that I just grabbed in the moment because I was trying to like make a point about thrifting an entire outfit and like I had this whole concept in mind and so I was like I need to have shoes and I was like yeah these will totally work and nah. <laughs> I thrifted a number of pieces that we're gonna style up. This pair of shoes is the only shoes I got and they're really uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm basically gonna be styling these outfits with the shoes that I already have. I, probably my most offensive offense and something I really regret buying was this blue silk set. Okay, from that blue silk suit, they were selling the pieces separately and I decided to just grab the pants. Um, and now I'm full of regret because the pants don't fit me and now it's separated from the beautiful jacket. So I think that's some like bad thrifting karma my way. <laughs> if you wanna boo my decision there, I totally understand. Yeah, like I said, I definitely accumulated some bad thrifting karma when I did that. <sighs> In the end, I know there are way worse problems to have. So let's cheers to buyer's remorse. Sometimes the worst fail that can happen though is when you actually bring home an item that you're very excited about and somehow it gets totally ruined. I have had my fair share of those mistakes this year. I have to say it needs to have the button re-sewn on. This one's a little loose and then I actually wore this coat today at um, the grocery store. It got caught on my cart when I was bagging my groceries and the other button just popped out. So I have some sewing to do and it just happened to be the day that I planned to film this, so whatever. Oh, <laughs> there goes the other button. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, that's pretty embarrassing that I'm like bragging about how nice this coat is and how much I love it when like the buttons just popped off today. <laughs> Go figure. In the arms of the angel. I actually was thinking about that entire trip to Thrift Town um, and how, well, you guys remember what happened. I think it's a perfectly fine store, but Something about it compared to many of the other places that we've gone makes it a little bit forgettable. And I hate to say that because again, I still like the store. I would shop there again for sure. Across the board, I'm just calling this place like average AF, okay? <laughs> My haul from this store kind of bums me out because I felt like I spent way too much time in that store for what I ended up leaving with. I just got this one pair of pants, which I debated for a long time. So I brought them home and washed them and there's some kind of like color bleeding on them and like they're kind of ruined. So it is right across the rear. I don't know if you can even like red like ink stain that goes across it. It's not super obvious, but 
if you saw it, you would be like concerned that I was like bleeding. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not a great look. So let's just pour one out for all of our fallen ruined items from the thrift store. <laughs> Well, one comment I have really appreciated getting a few times over the past year is someone telling me that they think an item I find is totally hideous until I actually bring it home and style it. And then they kind of see the potential and the vision that I had. So I always love to include the styling portion in my videos wherever possible, but it doesn't always work out with the best results. So here are some of my styling fails from the past year. But let's pull on these floral pants. <laughs> this is a look. <laughs> well, actually, I actually kind of like the bike shorts better than this next style. This outfit is too much for me, especially with that hat. It's too... Molly Ringwald. It's very, very like pretty in pink Molly Ringwald. <laughs> it's funny because I've always idolized Molly Ringwald in pretty in pink, but when I wore this, it actually looked more like cosplay than my own personal style for some reason. I want to try something fun. Maybe I'll like it better on camera than I do in real life. Mm, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is what we're trying. I thought I'd lean happily into this 90s Y2K vibe with some little space buns. This is not something I actually would wear out, I don't think. This looks very, I look like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> One or two steps away from looking like I'm in costume. That's about the sweet spot for me. And this is probably like a step too far with the hair. <laughs> it's like a Mickey Mouse Spice Girl or something. <laughs> Yeah, so I kind of want to try my hair down lower, but do like this. <laughs> one up, one down. I definitely don't always get it right, but the, the time that stands out the most was the time I went thrifting at the bins with my friend Terry. <sighs> Roll the clip. Hey, so I'm currently editing this next part and I have been laughing my ass off just remembering what happened next. But unfortunately, the footage came out kind of blurry. My camera didn't focus. So I debated with myself whether or not to even include it in this video. I forgot that my camera was also blurry on this part. <laughs> fail on fail and fail. Meta fail. I think it's one of those hopefully relatable moments when you're thrifting or hanging out with a friend and things just escalate and they get really goofy really fast. <laughs> escalate. So Terry and I found this sequin number. And then... <laughs> At first we're like, what even is it? What is that? Is it a costume? Is it a... <laughs> what is it? Is it a circus performer outfit? It's got, it's got to be like some kind of performance outfit. Like, we thought maybe ice skater, but it's pretty scandalous, like open back. Meanwhile, the whole time, Terry is egging me on, trying to get me to buy this thing. <laughs> She's like, oh, you should get it. You have to get it. You definitely should get it. Just put it in your cart. I'm like, for what? I think she needs to wear a Halloween. And this next part is pretty embarrassing. This is awesome, so. That. <laughs> I don't think I just let go on. I can't believe you're still gonna be seen with me right now. Hi, there you go. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's ice capades. Obviously. <laughs> I don't know. So Terry told me I had to get this. So like I just had to Terry. prove to her that I do not need this. <laughs> I don't need, no one needs this. I don't know. We're okay, back to the normal finds. Oh my God. Thank you, Terry, for that memory. We will never forget.
If you'd rather just not make eye contact for a while, I totally understand. Just styling fails. So yeah, there are definitely times where I question whether I'm actually like qualified to be able to call myself like a styling channel. And no better example than my general lack of grace as a model. Let me try it again. I kind of, I kind of like fell into the wall a little bit. Oh my gosh. Tiny bit of lip color on. It'll match my shoes. There we go. Yes. Matches my shoes, which is important. Also matches my zits because my skin is breaking out. Maybe one more button. Oh no. That's too much. The sweater is soaking wet right now. It is freezing and like wet and miserable. <laughs> but I have to film it. I don't have time for it to dry. Shh. <laughs> oh, I don't have pockets on this one. They're like so good. This is like QVC, like shopping channel. Oh, excuse me. I was like doing, I was doing this in the mirror for some reason. <laughs> like, it's kind of meant to be this like wild, wild and free hair. <laughs> it's on purpose, I swear. Honestly, my hair might be holding me back from doing better on YouTube. You know, like people, <laughs> you'll see me. Why would I watch your style videos? You obviously have never combed your hair in your entire life. It's not true. From my childhood home. <laughs> I could be pantsless right now. That's all I'm saying. I'm kind of upset with myself. Oh, I haven't fixed my nails yet. God damn it. <laughs> Delete 27 clips of me pretending to be ready. This is very familiar. I feel like I'm always trying to fix my busted ass nails while I am otherwise ready to film a video. And then I look down and I go. Guys, I just finished filming and realized that I wore two different in earrings for like the entire video. Can you see? They're similar, but they're different sizes. <laughs> Poop. I just didn't realize. Did you notice? If you notice, don't say anything, but leave like an emoji in the comments. Leave a facepalm emoji in the comments. <laughs> I am like the least fashionable fashion account. I have style, but like no grace. No grace. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And then there's just general goofing off that happens for some reason when I push record. I think I know how I want to style it. It's gonna be a little bit different. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Just inadvertently like dropped that on you. <laughs> Whoops. Let's get the shirt on. Oh, I do. Of course they also have tag sales, so pay attention to what tag sales are on sale. <laughs> they have a tag sale, so pay attention to what tags are the sales tags for the tag sale. And then you will be able to take advantage of the tag sale with the items that are tagged with the sale tags during this. I don't know where to back up to either, like before I started that little Dr. Seuss rant. You know, I just put the he extra headband in my purse and then I could have a headband costume change in the middle of my evening as Gwyneth Paltrow at home. I love this song. <laughs> analogy but I'm literally not trying to physically fight anyone just so you know <laughs> is there like a fashion version of that that I, can, I can't think of <laughs> there it is the hair flip 
the sassy in your face hair flip. Boom. Well, yes, sometimes I embarrass myself for your entertainment, but you know, it's been a tough couple of years for everyone. If I can bring some laughter and entertainment with my general goofing off, and for some reason this past year, that has meant a bunch of dancing. Oh no, what's happening? <laughs> Stuffing thing ever. By the way, this was new with tags. DJ, drop the beat and don't stop. It just was new with tags. It just was new with tags. Obsessed. It just was new with tags. Obsessed. It just was new with tags. Cute stuffing thing ever. It just was new with tags. Obsessed. It just was new with tags. Obsessed. It just was new with tags. Obsessed. It just was new with tags. Cute stuffing thing ever. Yeah, I love this. I think I could even like. Do that. All right, by now you know what a weird account you follow here, so we'll just move on. I'm styling this. The thing you should know about having your own YouTube channel is that you spend hours editing. So sometimes you can get in this like very strange sort of flow state with your creativity. <laughs> Along the lines of some of the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't see, I've got to confess to you that there were a few videos that stand out this year that were among the toughest videos to make for various reasons. The first I'll mention was the month of vintage tea styling. We'll see if I can pull this off. Okay, I'm starting the first of the month of vintage teas vlog. God help me. <laughs> so I told myself when I started this challenge that I was not gonna just use jeans every day with outfits. I wanted to like really challenge myself to style these looks. And yet here we are on day one, right out the gate. It feels like that part in Mean Girls when they're like, I guess you picked today. I guess I picked today. I'm a little disheveled because it's a hot day <laughs> and I wish I had filmed this before I went. I never got to do my hair or makeup today because I've been in a little editing hole. What's considered classy if you're rich and trashy if you're poor? Ramen. <laughs> That's right, it's the glamorous lifestyle of a YouTuber. Here's the behind the scenes of me just sitting and editing and eating at my desk. This is borderline embarrassing for me to share, but you know, you're gonna see me every day for a month, so you're gonna get some stuff like that too. I really started to burn out on t-shirts by the end of the month. That's me a long month. I do feel really happy with the end product of that video, but I gotta say, when I was in the middle of that month, I was regretting all my choices. The same goes for the video I did with a huge closet edit. The first step is to pull out things that you never wear. No, it's not that. That's not the first one. <laughs> That's the second one. That's the second step. Shit. It is time to tackle this basket of clothing. <laughs> Burger's helping. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Oh my god, 
a good job. One down. <laughs> All right, let's look at the dresses. Perfect. I think we're done for today. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to dresses. Organize <laughs> it by color. That's a little tough to do because the tees have different colors on them. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it, I'm not doing that. Oh my gosh, so you know when you're cleaning, like everything gets worse before it gets better. I just take a nap right now. Be so nice. And so much about your thrifting experience is always unpredictable. So when you're actually filming yourself and making these like promises about what you're gonna find or how it's gonna go, what the theme is gonna be, you could end up kind of feeling a little bit foolish when things do not go as planned at all. There's certain items that you always see in a thrift store and then there's certain things that are just like really cool or fun to find. So here's the ideas on our thrifting scavenger hunt. Something with live, laugh, love. That one should be so easy. <laughs> Oh, there's the laugh. <laughs> this is probably like a triptych. <laughs> uh, this one is pretty close. Let's get, what, let's get what? Let's get Cabernet. <laughs> oh, close. All right, if they don't have a live, laugh, love throw pillow, then I don't know what to think anymore. All right, my excuse is they do not have a huge home decor selection here, so I can't believe I didn't find like multiple live, laugh, love items. Like I had to kind of stretch what they had here to make it happen. That one should be so easy. <laughs> so easy. So easy. Overall, I absolutely loved that thrift store day scavenger hunt that we did, and I'm definitely gonna be repeating that in the future. As far as video fails goes though, I think nothing stands out more than the thrift trip to Culpeper, Virginia, which did not go as planned. <laughs> it did not go as planned. Thrifting drama. <gasps> Look at this cute little vintage bag I just found. Yay! It'll still be a fun thrift with me. <laughs> I go home and I'll give you the full haul of all of my finds for the day. Surprise! Guess what? I was about to leave and there's a major storm rolling through. <laughs> Did you hear the thunder? <laughs> There's flash flood warning, so I don't want to be driving just in case. Oh my god. Oh. Don't kick me out, Goodwill. I'm too scared to leave. <laughs> they close soon. I'm just gonna hide in this fitting room. Googling whether it's safe to be in your car during a lightning storm. <laughs> Just know this is not a safety video. <laughs> but I thought it would be hilarious to do a car haul, even though I never do them. Like, why not do it now in this like horrible conditions? Since I can't drive home yet, it's just, but like, let's just film it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> so loud. Oh, that's, wait, that's terrible. Okay, let's see what I got today. <laughs> I got this vintage tote bag. I'm pretty excited about it. It's super cute. Sorry, I'm just yelling at you. It's just so loud. <laughs> this is the worst haul ever. Like, it's so loud and dark. <laughs> I guess that's it. 
Just hang out with me, please. I'm so bored waiting for the storm to pass. I'll just sit here and ponder nature <laughs> and her absolute dominance over human life. <laughs> we tend to forget that, you know? God, this is the weirdest effing video ever. <laughs> I totally should use all this footage. I should just do it. <laughs> like, y'all will never see this coming. <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you. <laughs> They say that failure can present as many opportunities as success can, and so I wanna thank you for the opportunity to share my thrifting fails with you. I only hope I brought some laughter and entertainment to you this week and every week from the past year. Don't forget you can subscribe to this channel for future videos, and if you are catching up on some YouTube binge watching during the holiday season, you can go into my channel playlist, and I have organized playlists for you from all of our thrifting adventures. So it's a great time to catch up, and it has been a wonderful year. I have so many amazing non-fails to talk about and we're going to do that in the next video which is going to be the best thrift finds and best thrifting experiences of 2021. So I'll see you back here soon for that video and now I want to send you off from this thrifting fails video the best way I can think of with an extended blooper reel. Cheers. <sighs> My earring fell out. Back is gone. It's right here. Uh, did you guys, did you miss the blooper reel? Did you miss it? Did you think I quit making mistakes for a hot second? No, oh no, no. <laughs> Never. I totally scored on the goods. Mm. The goods. So this is kind of fun, it's like, Opening presents. It's so, it feels like a little tight. Come a little closer. Come on, come on, come on. Good thing you started recording all of this. The camera movement. Like the Blair Witch Project. I can edit the first section first and well. then put those in order and then go back through or whatever. Like this will reflect the final order. Oh my god. I didn't unbutton it enough. Ah. Situation, situation, situation. It's like more situation than the Jersey Shore. Is that joke like horribly dated? <laughs> Too late for Jersey Shore jokes? Too soon? Too soon? Some goodwill action coming up at ya. Oh, there's a cute little squirrel out there. My dog must be going nuts. It's the squirrel is digging in his yard. My dog must hate this. Wow, he's really like furiously digging up the garden. Nature. <laughs> I do wish this one was a little bit more oversized. I think that would be a really fun way to wear it, but um, but yeah, it, it is still just kind of a fun. I do wish this one was a little bit more oversized. I think that would look really good. If it was. Gosh, why can't I get this? Okay, let me just start over. Hello, good morning, happy Sunday. Good morning. We are still in Southern Virginia, a very beautiful. <clears throat> good morning, good morning. <laughs> this is gonna be so annoying to edit. <laughs> and my haul is really good. <laughs> it's, it's really pretty good see that there's no holes or not like overly what the f am I trying to say? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna refilm this whole thing because I think for one that my hair was significantly effed. Significantly effed. <laughs> so I can't tell if my, sh my shots are getting blurry. It just looks like it is. Honestly, I cannot tell. Like, is it just my bad vision? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That looks pretty focused. Yeah, that looks blurry to me, but it must be my vision. Oh, I didn't say what it's good for. Uh, what it's good for. I don't know. <laughs> for this one. I didn't write anything down. 
So if you really enjoy that type of environment, like this is what that store is good for, for sure. All right, let's go with that. <laughs> If that is a pesticide company, okay. It was a cute little neighbor kiddo bringing a package that got misdelivered. Of course I got pissed, like just hearing a knock as I try to finish this. Ooh, I have a bad attitude. Oh fuck, I hate that I matched the, um, I hate that I matched the uh, trench coat here. And now I want to send you off in this, they, the battery is about to die on my camera and it's flashing and it's freaking me out. It's making giving me anxiety and it's messing me up, I think. That's what it is. That's the only reason I'm messing up. And I'll see you guys again for the next one very soon. Soon. We'll do it. We'll do it soon. We'll, we'll do it soon. It's coming. Well, at least my blooper reel will be good. <laughs>